That is a freaking mother load rock. Here's to your gold. Hallelujah, what a day. I bought a gold mine in Montana. And we're gonna mine gold. Probably the two people I get along with the easiest are my mom and my dad. And they came out, man. There's a broken line? Yeah, there's a broken rubber line. It's really draining. Son of a gun, hun. Yeah, we did it. Doesn't get a signal down there. Yeah, they're on there. You're a dust bowl. What if you're living in the good old days right now? The days you're gonna look back on and like say, oh my god, I wish I could do that again, or I wish I had those days back. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever. But what if you are right there right now? I think in a way we're all right there right now. And we're gonna find gemstones, we're gonna find gold 100 percent guaranteed. So we're going gold mining. Time is up. We've got to score some gold today because I'm going to have to leave. My parents are going to have to leave. Dropped a freaking fortune on this gold claim. We really need it for it to pay off. Beautiful out here. It's going to be about 96 today, so it's a good day to be in a shady little creek in the mountains. Glad I didn't back up any farther. That was close. Well, that gummy, we got to find the gold. A sluice box. Water runs in this, flows down, but the key is to getting it set perfectly so that it actually catches stuff and it doesn't all flow through. So there's pretty much all the gear we need. My parents are coming soon with the metal detector and their panning stuff. Nobody in the vicinity has more knives on their hip. And my dad does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Small percentage of the claim. It goes downstream for, I don't know, probably a quarter mile or something. Then it goes way up here into the hills and way up into the hills on the other side of the road I drove in on. We got plenty of area to mine. Bucket of material. Gonna run it through our classifiers. A little bit. Get this dirt rinsed off. See if we got any nuggets. Some good looking gravel right there. Should be some gold in that, hopefully. That baby's running good. We're doing our first sluice cleanup. Now I've already seen gold in here, so gotta tear it apart. These are miners moss. That's where all the gold really sticks. Gotta get that in that. Bucket. That's good looking material. Now that, I guarantee you, has a bunch of gold in it. It might be small gold, but it's, there's going to be gold in that. We're going to pan it out right after I take a sip of the nectar of the gods, Orange Rock Star. Dump that into our pan and begin. Ooh, look at all that beautiful black sand. Test drive of this area. That's a little chunk of gold. There's a lot of fine powder gold in this pan. Just little bits, little bits. 
so that's not good considering I need gold that pays for drives across the country. We got to try to pull something out of the hat here in the last minute. It's gonna start getting chilly out. All right, I think I just found the holy grail on this gold claim. So I'm heading down there with a bucket and my little shovel. I'm gonna show you this money zone. It is glorious. It's like an old creek bed. And boom, look at that hole right there. That is the perfect place for gold to accumulate. I'm gonna set you guys up on a rock. I don't have my tripod. Perfect little gravel. Smells like gold in here. We're gonna need some nuggets. Some big, freaking nuggets. You got a shovel over there? This is the shovel you use? That's the best dirt we ran right there. Yeah, I hope so. All those little, little baby microscopic pieces that seem to be sitting still right there, gold. Yeah, there's a lot more little itty bitty pieces of gold, but nothing that's gonna break this bank. All right, so I've been running. I ran like four buckets full out of that one deep spot I found. It's definitely the best spot we found yet, but it's, not doesn't have enough gold to, to pull this trip off for us. It's like little fleck here, little fleck there. Each pan has like five little flecks of powder. So, but I'm gonna go try a little bit downstream of that. We're gonna see if I can find the mother load. Hey, look at that thing. That's a sweet looking rock right there. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Look at that. There's freaking gold in that rock. There's freaking gold in that rock. Saw at least a quarter ounce of gold in that rock. I'm gonna bring it out to you guys. So we've been walking across this thing all freaking day. Oh my god, dude. Look at this locker. Whoa, dude. I don't want to ruin this camera. I'm dripping all over. I'm too excited. Look at that freaking gold right there at my fingertip. There's like veins. There's like veins all over in it. That is a freaking mother load rock. We cracked this baby open. We've got a trip paid for. Look at this big, big freaking chunk of quartz. That's more gold right there. This rock is freaking loaded, dude. Holy cow, look at that. Totally. That's, this thing could have freaking what? 10, 20 ounces in it. I wonder what's inside. Oh, there's one, another vein right there, I think. Maybe oh my not. God. Oh. There. Oh! Look at that thing, freaking shimmer right there. This rock is laced with 100% Beautiful, stunning gold, folks. 
Look at this wing. Wow, YouTube. Mother Nature gave birth to a bouncing gold baby girl. This thing's a heifer. The goose, one hell of a goose, laid one beauty of a golden egg, dude. Woo! Listen to that baby! Listen to that baby go! We are gonna celebrate. I've been carrying this around for a week now. What we have, you guys, is the apotheosis of a fine, fine celebratory uh, event. This is it. This. This is to celebrate getting gold. Yep. This Chardonnay has a buttery flavor on the finish. The attack is gonna be green apple and diacetyl, which is like butter. Here's to your gold. Hallelujah, what a day. Oh, baby. 100 pounds, 100 pounder. She's safe in her cubby. Ooh, cooler sack.